Well, Apple says a software update is coming to its iPhone 14 Pro that will address the camera shake issue that some users have been experiencing when using apps like Snapchat and TikTok. Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley is on the case for us. Dan, let's talk about the issue itself and what exactly Apple's doing to resolve it. Yeah, so uh, apparently when you use the iPhone 14, which is this bad boy right here, uh, you will get some kind of shaking when you're using apps like Snapchat, like Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok when you go to upload photos or you're trying to take them live in the app and then upload them that way. I was just giving it a try. It does not happen uh, with my particular phone, but there's other people who are experiencing that issue where the actual camera will start to, to shake or even buzz and make kind of a noise. Yeah. Uh, so what they have to do is release a software update. Unfortunately, the software update's not going to be ready until next week. Now, that's a big deal because a lot of people, especially in the U.S., access those apps and upload to those apps via the iPhone. I mean, we've seen how important the iPhone is to social media companies with uh, the change in privacy practices to uh, Meta, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snap, going through layoffs right now. And so any kind of hiccup with a social media platform and the iPhone is a very big deal to those services. So uh, they will release the update, but for now it seems as though people are just going to have to take a photo and then upload it the old fashioned way rather than just being able to take it in the, the app itself and then shoot it out. So uh, you've got the phone in your hand. I I'm thinking about when the product was first mm. revealed. There were a lot of critics who said like, these are incremental changes mm -hmm. when you compare it to the 13. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's the verdict? So for me, I've been using this for, I think uh, a little, a little less than a week now. Uh, I mentioned last week I already bought one. So obviously that's, you know, I'm giving my, uh, recommendation for it. I think for for me overall, I was using the 13 Pro prior to this. You know, the the dynamic island, this little guy up top, if we can see it there. Uh, you know, it's getting a lot of uh, a lot of play yeah. just because people are like, oh, it's a new interesting addition. It's not all that it's cracked up to be. It's it's fun. It's it's cool. It's good to be able to have another ability to multitask. Um, you know, you can throw your your apps up there uh, when you're listening to something, for instance, uh, and then just you know. So now I have. Spotify playing up there, mm. right? And that's kind of the big deal. So, uh, but then if I want to change enough it. enough for me to upgrade. Right. I could change Spotify there, but then, you know, I could also have always just changed it down there as well. So by swiping down. Uh, I think for, you know, me, the big difference is the camera. And the camera on iPhone is always so, so good. And with the iPhone 14 Pro, it's even better than last year. These are some of the photos that I took uh, when I went to uh, Astoria Park over the weekend. Uh, and you can see these are the different cameras uh, that are uh, working. That's uh, a zoomed uh, from the telephoto lens. I have a wide angle. I have a standard shot. There's four different. That's a goose uh, that I just saw. And I was like, let's get a picture <laughs> of that guy. That's all glass, you by the way. You need your cat photos. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't stand still. Uh, that entire river bank, by the way, on the, the East River is just glass. Uh, so welcome to New York, I guess. Um, but <laughs> the, uh, the camera really is so, so good. And I was doing some low light shots um, of my cat. My bed looked like a mess, so I didn't feel like putting that uh, out there for people to see. But it does improve on the low light capabilities. And I think for me, the big go-to for a phone is the screen and the camera. And this does a great job with it. Battery life is also fantastic. This has the always on display since it's the pro. This is the, the display on, right? It's off rather. This is just the always on display. Yeah. I haven't seen battery life go down it, it at all. It feels like increasingly it really does come down to camera and battery life. That's but, the most um, important thing. You can look out for Dan's review on our site, Yahoo Finance. Thanks so much for that, Dan.